Hello, I'm Joel Rennick, founder and creator of Nomad. And I wanted to show you some of the really cool things we've been working on lately around Nomad Login Plus 1.2. So this is our forthcoming version of Nomad Login Plus, which is our login window authentication plugin that allows you to authenticate to Okta, do just-in-time user creation, multi-factor, all the good stuff that's in there. So what I wanted to show you today is the concept that we can now determine whether you can sign into a Mac or not based upon uh, the provisioning of applications within the Okta dashboard. So here I've got a 1013 system running in a VM, and you can see that I've got just a Joel Rennick account here, no others. Um, in Okta, I've got two applications, native applications using OpenID Connect with PKCE, which is a really fancy way of saying that's a very cool way of authenticating without needing an API key or something else like that. Um, each of these uh, applications have users assigned to them. In this particular case, I've got two of my Joel users assigned to it, but I don't have a demo user, which is what I'm going to use to sign in. So if I go back to my VM and I go out to the login window, I'm now going to authenticate with that demo account that I mentioned. Uh, it's beta and my password. Make sure I get that right. I authenticated, but then I couldn't actually get access to that particular application. So the Nomad Login Plus login window denied the login. If I go over here to the application and I assign to people and I do uh, look for this user and assign them in and I save, I can now immediately turn around and go to my VM here and type that user in again. I've authenticated against Okta. And since I had application to this native, uh, access to this native application, I'm then being allowed into the system. So right now, the machine, the Mac, is creating a brand new user account. In a few seconds, you're going to see that kind of new user setup. Screen glows, goes black, and you're going to see that checkboxes come across. And I will have a brand new account based upon Okta credentials with an Okta username and password. And if I go here to System Preferences, you can see if I go to Users and Groups that I am a standard user. So I was not given admin credentials for this. But what happens if you want to be able to make users admins when they sign in? So if we log out as the demo user and I go over, I've got a second application within my Okta dashboard. That's the Nomad Login Admin. And in this, I have one user, a JRenick account. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sign in as that JRenick user. I'm going to get prompted for two-factor. We can handle a number of these. I'm going to choose Octopush. I'm approving this on my phone. I've now been signed in, and a brand new account is going to be made for me. Since this user has been provisioned to that admin application in Okta, I'm going to actually have an admin account when this is all done. So again, all of this is predicated by assigning users to applications within your Okta dashboard. Uh, that's pushed out. Those client IDs are pushed out through a configuration profile and Nomad Login reads those in. So you're more than welcome to have different configurations for different sets of Macs. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go to the system preferences. I'm going to go to users and groups. And you can see that I'm an actual admin user on this machine. Standard local admin, a member of the admin group can do anything that an admin needs to do. So some cool things that we can do here. And since we're doing this all within Okta, we also have the really cool ability to see this all in the logs. So when each of these applications are authenticated against, you're going to see a notification in your Okta logs here. So here you can see that we logged in as the uh, last user, and I had access both to log and access their success via OIDC. And here we have success logging in to the Nomad Login Admin. However, if I go down here a little bit with the demo user, when we signed in as the demo user, we weren't able to authenticate against Nomad Login Admin. As such, the user wasn't assigned and we couldn't become an admin. 
further on down, that first time we tried to access the machine as that demo account, we couldn't even get in. And that's because we weren't assigned to the Nomad login access application. And here you can see that failure. So hopefully some very cool stuff. We're very excited about all the possibilities that you can do with this between having Nomad Login Plus, an MDM system that can provide Nomad Login at you know, a device enrollment program, and then being able to do all of your provisioning through the Okta dashboard itself. You should have a very complete solution without having to introduce too many more moving pieces. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy using Nomad Login Plus.